హాయ్ వియర్స్ హ్యాపీ దివాళీ ఈ దీపావళి మీ జీవితంలో సరికొత్త కాంతులు తీసుకురావాలని కోరుకుంటూ మీ షేఖర్ మ్యాథ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు షేఖర్ మ్యాథ్స్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు లర్న్ సెవెంత్ క్లాస్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ మిస్టర్ వన్ థర్డ్ చాప్టర్ సింపుల్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ త్రీ ప్రాబ్లమ్ నంబర్ టూ రోమన్ నంబర్ వన్ టు ఫైవ్ నౌ లెటస్ డూ ఎక్సర్సైజ్ త్రీ పాయింట్ త్రీ సెకండ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సాల్వ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ ఈక్వేషన్స్ అండ్ చెక్ ద రిజల్ట్ వన్ టూ త్రీ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ నౌ లెటస్ టేక్ ఫస్ట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ త్రీ ఇంటూ పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ సొల్యూషన్ వన్ త్రీ ఇంటూ పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ దెన్ త్రీ ఇంటూ పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ బికాస్ మైనస్ ఫోర్ వెన్ ట్రాన్స్పోజ్ టు ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ సో త్రీ ఇంటూ పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ బికాస్ ఫైవ్ ప్లస్ ఫోర్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ నౌ పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు నైన్ డివైడెడ్ బై త్రీ బికాస్ మల్టీప్లయింగ్ త్రీ వెన్ ట్రాన్స్పోజ్ టు ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ డివైడెడ్ బై త్రీ నౌ ఆన్ సింప్లిఫికేషన్ బై త్రీ 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 జా దట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ సో పీ మైనస్ సెవెన్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ నౌ పీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు త్రీ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ బికాస్ మైనస్ సెవెన్ వెన్ ట్రాన్స్పోజ్ టు ద రైట్ హ్యాండ్ సైడ్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ సో త్రీ ప్లస్ సెవెన్ బికమ్స్ టెన్ సో పీ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు టెన్ ఈజ్ ది సొల్యూషన్ ఆఫ్ ది అబౌ ఈక్వేషన్ నౌ లెట్ అస్ చెక్ వెదర్ ఇట్ ఈస్ కరెక్ట్ ఆర్ నాట్ ఫర్ దిస్ పుట్ P is equal to 10 in the above equation. Then, L left hand side LHS is equal to put 10 in place of P. Then, 3 into 10 minus 7 minus 4, which is equal to 3 into 3 minus 4. Because 10 minus 7 is equal to 3, which is equal to 9 minus 4. Because 3 into 3 is equal to 9. And 9 minus 4 gives 5. So, which is also on the right hand side of the equation. So, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Hence, verified. Now, second. 5 into q minus 3 minus 3 into q minus 2 is equal to 0. Solution to 5 into q minus 3 minus 3 into q minus 2 is equal to 0. Using distributive law, 5 into q is 5q. 5 into minus 3 is minus 15, minus 3 into q is minus 3q, minus 3 into minus 2 is plus 6, equal to 0. Now 2q minus 9 is equal to 0, because 5q minus 3q gives 2q, minus 15 plus 6 gives minus 9, is equal to 0. Now 2q is equal to plus 9. Because minus 9 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes plus 9. Now q is equal to 9 by 2. Because multiplying 2 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by 2. So q is equal to 9 by 2 is the solution of the above equation. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. For this put q is equal to 9 by 2 in the above equation. Now LHS is equal to. 5 into 9 by 2 minus 3 can be written as 3 by 1 minus 3 into 9 by 2 minus 2 can be written as 2 by 1 that is equal to 5 into 9 into 1 in the numerator is 9 2 into minus 3 is minus 6 in the numerator by in the denominator 2 into 1 is 2 minus 3 into 9 into 1 is 9 in the numerator 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 by in the denominator 2 into 1 is 2. So 5 into 9 minus 6 is 3 by 2 minus 3 into 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 by 2. 5 into 3 is 15 by 2 minus 3 into 5 is also 15 by 2. The difference is 0 which is also equal to on the right hand side of the equation. So, LHS is equal to RHS, hence verified. Now, third, 0.4x minus 0.3x minus 1.2 is equal to 0.6. Solution 3, 0.4x minus 0.3x 
minus 1.2 is equal to 0 0.6 which is equal to 0.1x minus 1.2 is equal to 0.6 because 0.4x minus 0.3x gives 0.1x. Now 0.1x is equal to 0.6 plus 1.2 because minus 1.2 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes plus 1.2. Now 0.1x is equal to 1.8 because 0.6 plus 1.2 gives 1.8. Now x is equal to 1.8 by 0 0.1 because multiplying 0 0.1 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by 0 0.1. Observe that in the numerator and the denominator there are, there are only one decimal place. So we can ignore it. Now 18 by 1 which is equal to 18 or numerator 1.8 can be written as 18 by 10. Denominator 0.1 can be written as into 10 by 1 on simplification by 10, 10 once. So 18 by 1 which is equal to 18. So x is equal to 18 is the solution of the above equation. Now let us check whether it is correct or not. For this put x is equal to 18 in the above equation. Then LHS is equal to put 18 in place of x that is 0 0.4 into 18 minus 0 0.3 into 18 minus 1.2 that is equal to 7.2 minus 5.4 minus 1.2 because 18 fours are 72 there is one decimal place in 0.4 so 7.2 18 threes are 54 there is one decimal place in 0.3 so 5.4 so that is equal to 7.2 minus 6.6 .6 because sum of negative numbers 5.4 1.2 becomes minus 6.6 .6 which is equal to 0 0.6 because 7.2 minus 6.6 .6 is equal to 0 0.6 which is also on the right hand side of the equation. So LHS is equal to RHS hence verified. Now fourth problem. 4 into 3y plus 4 is equal to 7.6. Solution for 4 into 3y plus 4 is equal to 7.6. Now 3y plus 4 is equal to 7.6 divided by 4 because multiplying 4 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes a divided by 4. On simplification by 4, 4 1.9 ja that is equal to 1.9 now 3y plus 4 is equal to 1.9 so 3y is equal to 1.9 minus 4 because plus 4 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus 4 now let us do subtraction minus 4 can be written as minus 4.0 1.9 can be written as plus 1.9 now by lending 1 10, 10 minus 9 is 1 and 3 minus 1, 9, 1 is 2 because 4 is negative number big so minus 2.1. So 3y is equal to minus 2.1 because 1.9 minus 4 gives minus 2.1. Now y is equal to minus 2.1 divided by 3 because multiplying 3 when Transpose to the right hand side, it becomes divided by 3. Now, on simplification by 3, 3 minus 0 0.7, that is equal to y is equal to minus 0 0.7 is the solution of the above equation. Now, let us check whether it is correct or not. For this, put y is equal to minus 0 0.7 in the above equation. Then, LHS is equal to 4 into 3 into minus 0 0.7 plus 4 that is equal to 4 into minus 2.1 plus 4 because 7 into 3 is 21 and uh, minus 0 0.7 there is one decimal place in 0.7 so minus 2.1 now which is equal to 4 into 1.9 because 4 minus 2.1 gives 1.9 and bracket indicates multiplication 
so on 19 fours are 76 there is one decimal place is 1.9 so 7.6 observe that 7.6 is also on the right hand side of the equation so LHS is equal to RHS hence verified now fifth 20 minus of 2R minus 5 is equal to 25 solution 5 20 minus of 2R minus 5 is equal to 25 minus of 2R minus 5 is equal to 25 minus 20 because 20 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus 20 now minus 2R plus 5 is equal to 5 because 2R when multiplied by minus 1 gives minus 2R and minus into minus 5 gives plus 5 and 25 minus 20 gives 5 minus 2R is equal to 5 minus 5 because plus 5 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes minus 5 so minus 2R is equal to 0 because 5 minus 5 is equal to 0 now R is equal to 0 by minus 2 because multiplying minus 2 when transposed to the right hand side it becomes divided by minus 2 so R is equal to 0 because 0 divided by any number always gives 0 so R is equal to 0 is the solution of the above equation now let us check whether it is correct or not for this put R is equal to 0 in the above equation now LHS is equal to put 0 in place of R that is 20 minus 2 into 0 minus 5 that is equal to 20 minus 0 minus 5 because 2 into 0 is 0 now that is equal to 20 minus 0 minus 5 gives minus 5 now which is equal to 20 minus into minus is equal to plus 5 which is equal to 25 because 20 plus 5 gives 25 which is also on the right hand side of the equation so LHS is equal to RHS hence verified thanks for watching video don't forget to subscribe say karmas